of balls for all guard for today and, and at the same time be careful because obviously Real Madrid in the contact side is a story. You know it's hard for them not to score. But it's very difficult to, to, to get a replace for Diego Costa, the, the, the way, the style Atletico Madrid plays. If Real were to win this second leg and say it was 5 in the old aggregate, what damage could it inflict in the league title race? I think it's very important to Atletico Madrid not to lose this game, uh, even away from the cup. They don't want to lose it, even though they haven't beat Real Madrid from 99. Uh, since 99, it is for them very important not to lose it because it is the platform for the rest of the season. This, this game will be the ink in which the script of the season will be written, I think. And Atletico Madrid needs to feel that they still have in them to be competitive at, at this level. Problem is, you're going to see a lot of players that normally are on the bench, and most of them had let Simeone down. Apart from Raul Garcia, there's nobody from the bench that has made a difference for, for Atletico Madrid this season. Well, it's a chance to show that they have it in them to help the team the rest of the season. Normally, Atletico kind of sit back. Do you expect the first 20 minutes for them to go at Real Madrid and maybe get that one, possibly even second goal as well, which then would turn things yeah, around psychologically? Absolutely. I think what Atletico Madrid needs is an early goal to sort of get Real Madrid nervous and, and get the confidence for the Atletico Madrid team. And the way the, way the team has been set up, I think, obviously, uh, Cholo is wanting a bit the similar thing. A lot of men in this field try to suffocate that, uh, Real Madrid midfielders and get the ball back as close to possible to Real Madrid goal. Looking at the Real Madrid team Carlo Ancelotti's picked, he likes the 4-3-3 formation now. Isco possibly playing as that false nine, but there's a goal in them, isn't there, which means that Atletico would need five. Yeah, for, for Real Madrid it's about continuing the progression we were talking about. In the they lost the Clásico, it was six points from Barcelona, five from Atletico Madrid. They've equal them da now and they're very confident that things are going well. By the way, in terms of moments, how many derbies has Casillas, what was the last time that Casillas lost? Is it like 30 or something? Uh, they've got all the omens against Atletico Madrid, really. Yeah, back in 1999 it was. Well, it looks like Real Madrid are favourites, strong favourites to go through to the final, but I wouldn't turn away from this game. I'm sure there is plenty to watch and plenty to talk about. Your commentary team, Jerry Armstrong and Kevin Keating. Well, thanks, Scott. Carlo Ancelotti delighted with the first leg performance. First time in over 12 months, Atletico Madrid had conceded more than two goals in a game. And so a much changed team. In fact, 50% of the players have changed from the two starting 11s last week. And Real Madrid with that 3-0 advantage. And the fact that Atletico Madrid didn't get an away goal, they do count double in the Copa del Rey, means that were Real Madrid to get one tonight, Atleti would need five. He says nothing is impossible. And last week's first leg certainly kept to the script of this particular fixture. Angry, intense, at times chaotic expect nothing different tonight. The good news for Real Madrid is they've got Cristiano Ronaldo available, here he is, against an Atletico Madrid side who have only got three recognised first-team regulars in their strongest league side in Miranda Coque and Raul Garcia. has just served the first of a three-match La Liga ban, but, as I say, is available here. And a big night as well for Isco, Jerry, who's been on the outside looking in of late. I'm really pleased to see Isco playing because he's not played partly, it's just the system. You know, we talked about it over the last few weeks, Kevin, and uh, Ancelotti's gone with this 4-3-3 system, which doesn't suit Isco a lot of the time, and he's playing basically in the withdrawn role in, in the hole. And uh, he's got Cristiano Ronaldo on, on, on one side and obviously Garth Bale on the other side. But it's a, it's a difficult role for him to play, but he's done really well in the games he's played. He's got eight goals already this season. It'll be fascinating to see how Simeone and his squad used to its full extent tonight. How different the pattern of play changes, probably none at all, but they really only have one out and out striker we remember not too many seasons ago Raul Garcia Jerry was a holding midfield player here and briefly in his time at 
Osasuna, but currently his personal best season for goals, 13. Yeah, he's had a brilliant season, he's played all different roles. The last couple of games I've seen him play, he's played on the right side of the front three, and it's been uh, difficult for Raul Garcia, but he's going to have to play as a target man. No Diego Costa, as Insua is upset over this challenge. Well, he's not the one committing the challenge. Diego Costa, for your information, in case you weren't aware, is suspended after picking up his latest yellow card in the competition in last week's first leg, and David Villa is injured. Real Madrid have their big guns up top. In terms of uh, Bale and Ronaldo and Modric in great form, well, had a good uh, test Aranta Beer, the number two goalkeeper, because Courtois is another on the injured list for Atletico. Tell you what, what a good free kick it was. Little flick on Gareth Beale there at the near post. And tantalizingly wide of the far post if someone could get on the end of that flick on. But it's a clever, clever free kick from Xavi Alonso. Yeah, I feel a little bit for Aranta Beer, Kevin, obviously coming in as a sub for Courtois, not having much practice this season, and then ended up getting sent off which was, I thought, pretty harsh, and penalty kicks and everything, and it cost them big time at Almeria. And that looks like a free kick for a foul on Sergio Ramos, an early battle between him and Raul Garcia. Garcia doing his best Diego Costa impression. One thing they're never short of is effort and determination. They will chase every single ball, especially here at the Vicente Calderon, and he gets warm applause from the from the, the, the fans and his manager, Simeone. Yeah, Atletico fans will look to make this, as usual, as hostile as can be from the team across the capital. Well, they know that it's a difficult one, but they believe they can overturn the 3-0 deficit, and they have to believe, to be fair to them. And uh, if they could get an early goal, well, that could be very interesting, Kevin, as Varane. Knocks the ball wide. Nice to see Rafael Varane back again. Here's Ramos. Abaloa playing at left back. No Marcelo or Contrao in the Real Madrid squad tonight. Modric. Could have easily by Insua. Here's Diego. Okay. Given away kind of cheaply there by Atletico and Ronaldo up against Miranda. Still Ronaldo. Is he clipped by Juan Fran? Or rather, the challenge coming in from. I think it might have been uh, Manquillo, I think Manquillo, it is. Kevin, yeah. yeah. I think it was Manquillo. Manquillo. And the referee pointed immediately to the spot. Kevin, the thing is, he catches him just as he gets past Miranda here. He catches him there as he's fallen over Manquillo, he catches him, and Ronaldo's just getting ready to pull the trigger, and that's where he catches him there and clips his heel, and he goes down. There. You can see he catches his left leg, that's what the referee sees, and that stops him getting the shot off, and it has to be a penalty kick. That's the last thing they wanted to do as well. So, Cristiano Ronaldo against Daniel Aranthavia. Ronaldo for the first away goal in the tie. You bet. There's no saving that. And Simeone will now ask for big hearts and character. But surely there's no way back from this. One down on the night. And Ancelotti's team 4-0 up on aggregate. Yeah, they need five, Kevin, Atletico Madrid need five to go through, which is a massive ask. What a good strike this is from Ronaldo. He won the penalty and certainly dispatched it in the bottom left-hand corner. Lots of venom in the shot, full of confidence. Goal number 33 of the season for Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, a wry smile from Simeone. He knows the game's up. And he was hoping to keep them at bay and maybe steal a goal themselves to get back into the game. Well, we know what they built 
and strong stuff here at the Vicente Calderon, but even the fans will be feeling that this now is mission impossible. However, there's still plenty of interest in this game because these two meet in the league in less than three weeks' time here, so this is something of a, a dress rehearsal for what will be a hugely important league game with the top three all tied on 57 points as we stand. Yeah, but Kevin, Diego Costa will be available then. You look at the bench, Godin will be available, Arda Turan, Gabi, Juan Fran, all on the bench tonight. And I think he half in his head thought, I'm not going to go gung-ho, I'm going to rotate it, and as the free kick's given, I'm going to rotate it and give some of the other players a chance, which I think is the right thing to do. Carvajal, is it Carvajal's picked up or not, or is it... Yeah, it is Carvajal, he's picked up a, a knock just there from our man Garcia, Raul Garcia. But from Atletico's point of view, even if they just get a win tonight by any margin, well, certainly, as we say, going out of the Copa del Rey, the holders it would if they managed to come back and win this game, be their third victory in the last four games against Real Madrid. Yeah, psychologically they, they would want to do something like that. Especially when you consider they went 14 years without one. They haven't beaten Real Madrid here in the 21st century. That's a big ask, you can see. Clumsy challenge from Anquillo, but it's the right decision. Iaramendi, now Varane. Interesting formation, isn't it, Kevin? Iaramendi and um, obviously Xavi Alonso is two anger men in midfield and pushing Modric in front. A little bit more advanced and he can create and it's a it's a good formation if you want to absorb pressure and and hit teams i think it's a decent side ancelotti's put out tonight and asking a lot of questions from simeone's team false number nine as well in isco we have uh, doubled with that on a couple of occasions but it's a it's essentially 4-3-3 jerry's right modric pushing further forward than alonso and iaramendi but it's this formation that has reaped real success and they are the form team in Spain at the moment I just think they're getting better Kevin as I watch them and you see the squad just starting to get everybody back fit Varane you know another one that they've got back fit again and there's not really too many problems for them from an injury point of view Kadira we knew he was a long term injury and he won't play again this season by the looks of it Modric Alonso for Cabajal. Iaramendi. Up goes Ronaldo. Oh, and having got there, he'll be disappointed he didn't put that on target. It's a decent ball. He's come in. He's got a running leap. In at the far post above Manquillo. It's too big for Miranda. And he will be disappointed. He hasn't hit the target, Kevin. You know, he's a great header of the ball now, Cristiano Ronaldo. And that was another half a chance. This will be Ronaldo's last game before the league suspension kicks in again. His next match after tonight will, fitness and health permitting, will be the first leg of the Champions League in the round of the last 16 in Germany against Schalke. Yeah, and we know who the top goal scorer is in the Champions League this season so far. Hardly missed him in that cracking game against Villarreal last weekend, that 4-2 home win. No, Kevin, they were brilliant, weren't they? I have to say. Super football, two great goals from Villarreal, Mario and, and uh, Giovanni Dos Santos. Now, here's a chance. Oh! Casillas was beaten. Wonderful effort by Raul Garcia. And that was so close to the first goal that Real Madrid have conceded in the Copa del Rey this season. a strike that really deserved a better reward for Raul Garcia. He's 
Gareth Bale. Unable to outrun in sewer. Well, the idea was good, but unfortunately the pace of the ball was too much. Now this comes into Raul Garcia, Kevin. What a strike. It's the inside of the post. That's why he's got 13 goals this season. Heads of the box. He knows what he wants to do. Hits it really well. So unlucky that hasn't hit the back of the net. Not only looking to impress his coach Simeone tonight, but also the national team manager Del Bosque in that forward role. Raul Garcia, there's huge competition, of course, for midfield places in the national side. He certainly made everybody sit up and take notice with his quantity of goals so far. Oh, for it as well, Kevin, he's good in the air. You know, he scores volleys, he scores strikes like that from the edge of the box. He's an opportunist, having the best season I've ever seen. And 13 goals should have been maybe 14, had he had a little bit of luck there. Not the first time I remember him hitting the post this season either, Kevin. He's done it on several occasions. Isco. Insua. Good pressure from Carvajal. Sorezo and Perez, the respective presidents watching on and Real Madrid with, you would say, almost two feet in the Copa del Rey final. They were like two poker players there. What, there was no expression on their face whatsoever. <laughs> we know who's holding the best hand at the moment. This is Bale. East go. Ooh. And Bale chips under the challenge. Another penalty. Conceded this time by Insua. And I don't think there's much doubt about it on first viewing, and certainly Undiano Mayenko didn't hesitate to point to the spot. You can only tackle in the penalty area if you're 100% sure. Oh, my goodness. The ball's gone, and Sue makes a challenge and catches his left leg. It's another death to penalty kick, and it's a reckless challenge. The referee's no choice but to get penalty kicks, and the two full-backs, I thought earlier tonight, I was saying they Kevin, I thought they looked vulnerable in those two full-back positions because without Felipe Luiz and obviously Juan Fran, I don't feel that the quality of the replacements is what you want. Not against a side as good as Real Madrid. So does he go to the goalkeeper's right again? <laughs> Same result. And once again, unstoppable. Cristiano Ronaldo with two. Real Madrid on the way to another... Copa del Rey final, the 39th in their history. Well, it's 34 goals for the season as well for Cristiano Ronaldo. Raul Garcia trying to G them up. Worst possible start for Atletico Madrid possible, Kevin. Two penalty kicks in the opening 15 minutes is not what you want. And it could be a bad night for them as continues because you talked about morale and morale even a win in a match. I think if they can go back to 2-2 and get a draw out of this game now, that would be morale boosting. Fabulous finish from Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, much has been made about the injuries that have begun to bite with Simeone's Atletico Madrid, but he says it's not a time for excuses. I've got a good squad. We've just got to get our heads down and work harder. And they've got a real mammoth task on here now not to rescue the tie it's over but as jerry rightly says to get something out of this second leg but it's five nil with his side trail now on aggregate in this semi-final but the, you know the ch it was a kamikaze challenge the ball was gone he's not even hit his right leg he's hit his left leg that was a standing leg yeah, Manquillo, a little bit of sympathy with him, with him because it's from behind, he's running back and he accidentally clips his heel but not that one there from Mansue. It was, it was just a poor piece of judgement on his part
Carvajal. Reception from Christian Rodriguez. That will be a corner. Well done. Christian Rodriguez does enough. And there's Raul Garcia battling with Xavi Alonso. Oh, a little bit of a spat between Raul Garcia and Xavi Alonso. Coquet's corner. Firmly out by the fist of Casillas. Really disappointed performance from Atletico Madrid losing 2 0 to lowly Almeria at the weekend. They haven't lost three games in a row for three years now and prior to last week's first leg there were 23 games unbeaten but this is when you find out about your players Jerry yeah. oh, well, the other question is you find out about your squad that's the question I would mention and are asking looking at the fullbacks I've already said about Manquillo and then Sue um, replacement wise I think David Villa is a big blow as well for them missing him although uh, Diego Rivas has been excellent well, I've seen him coming on Diego Costa, I don't think he can replace him, especially the way he's playing this season. Oh, Garcia looking for something, but referee and Sergio Ramos saying, you're watching it, nothing happened. Here's Garcia, quickly in was Arbeloa. Well, you have to be careful now because frustration can set in very quickly. Full of expectations and high hopes to maybe turn this tie round and now suddenly 2-0 down. It's all over, but they have to keep their pride intact and try and do something in terms of keeping the morale high, Kevin. Three defeats in a row is not what Simeone would want. And you don't want anybody getting set up as well now. Good pressing from Modric. But unfairly. Good kick against Isco this time. Well, starting to get very niggly, Kevin. Yellow card so far, but this could get well, a bit tasty. <laughs> Impudent uh, back heel there from Ronaldo. Bale finding Modric. Well, recently, it's been the Atletico fans who've been walking around this city with their heads held high and chests puffed out. Real Madrid fans have been. Hiding a little after suffering defeat in last season's Copa del Rey finals to Atleti in their own stadium, then losing at home to them in the league. But certainly the tide looks to be turning again. We were chatting earlier, Kevin, about having a three way tie at the top. A long time since that happened 1982 83 season. Dali Pilbao with the team there, Kevin, they won the league in 82-83 and 83-84, but they're up there this year as well. They could quite easily finish in the top four for Champions League. Tells you how long ago it was. Jerry hadn't kicked a ball in Spain there. That's how long ago it <laughs> well, was. Well, I had. I'd kicked the ball in Spain, but it was in the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Not for Mallorca. That <laughs> was the Mallorca, cup, wasn't that it? was the cup. That was the 83-84 season. Given away rather cheaply there by Varane. Given back to him by Sosa. Okay. 
Miranda. Making pass, looking for the run of Manquillo. Aramendi. Sergio Ramos. Varane. Over a bell and Ronaldo in the tangle. Manquillo. Okay. Surrounded by white shirts. Isco. Sosa wins the challenge. Taken on now by Koke. It's a late challenge. Yeah. No advantage as well. Referees pulled it up. Some good football being played though, Kevin. Really sharp, incisive football. This is for the challenge coming in late there from our friend Raul Garcia. He's a little bit after his own. Xavi Alonso. Diego Costa at the back there in the middle. He'll be so frustrated he's not out there. This is a fixture made for him. Real Madrid rather targeted him, didn't they, in that first leg last week? Lots of things going on involving Costa off the ball. I was going to say more like Arbeloa targeted him rather than Real Madrid. And had a couple of nibbles, didn't they? And they goaded him into a yellow card, which means he sits this one out. I think Arbeloa is fortunate to be playing in the game tonight, Kevin. The referee and the officials had seen what we saw. Pressing game from Atletico Madrid looks to be uh, not quite at its uh, most intense, understandable in the circumstances. Yeah, you have to have belief. And uh, first minute they were full of enthusiasm and determination, but when you're 2 0 down and lost the first leg 3 0, then that's when we find out hard dig they can deep. I have no doubt they're working hard, but not to the same degree that Simeone would like them to. Arbelon. do have a proud home record to defend they haven't been beaten in this stadium since last May 20 matches which they've won 16 of those Ronaldo for Carvajal Bale Carvajal beautifully done Defending from Alderweireld, he hasn't had many opportunities. Alderweireld, but he is a good player. I've seen him coming on as a sub and starting the odd game, Kevin. But Godin and Miranda has been so good. Well, he's got his chance tonight. Regular international and a very good Belgium team. Toby Alderweireld, who is in his first season in Spain, having joined Atletico from Ajax. Modric. Great form at the moment, Luka Modric. Bale. Keeping the ball really well, Real Madrid at the moment, passing it. There's lots of whistles coming from the Atletico Madrid fans, but Real Madrid sticking to their job and they're doing it very well at the moment.
this is now Kevin from Real Madrid. Ramos. That's one here by Koke. Diego. Looking for the run of Rodriguez. And the long range effort won't trouble Ike Casillas from Koke. It's set up nicely, and Koke thought I'll have a go. It's worth an effort. Unfortunately, off the target. And despondency there on the Atletico Madrid fans' faces. Well, they're not used to losing, but when it's against your arch rivals, it hurts. Suarez. Well, the pass was a little bit heavy there for Modric and maybe a little bit fortunate to get it. You see he's chasing it, but then it's for the arm, that's what it is. It's the arm across the face of Modric, that's what the foul's for. Simeone has a league game here at the weekend against lowly Vidalid to good opportunity to get back to winning ways Real Madrid have a another derby game against should Hetafe I, should I think half of his head was thinking as the league game coming up have we lost this first leg too many and you know I think that was half in his mind and that's why Godin's on the bench and Juan Fran's on the bench and Arda Turan I think he's he psychologically thought I'll only take a half a gamble now this is a great break terrific break from Manquillo just 19 years old, the right back. Diego. Manquillo. Diego wasn't carrying any threat to Casillas, even if it hadn't struck uh, Raul Garcia. Diego down, clutching his leg. It's well wide from Raul Garcia. Well, a strong challenge, but a fair challenge from Ilaramendi. What's to see, Kevin? And it looks like he sort of stood on the ball there. Diego and he's twisted his ankle slightly. Uh, had nothing to do with it, Yaramende. Break on here, led by Sosa. Useful cross as well. And they're claiming a penalty at Letigo Madrid, but flags up for offside instead. Yep. That's what the call is, Kevin, offside. Cristiano Rodriguez disappointed. Well, he's a mile offside, isn't he? He's a mile offside. And that's pretty clear. Don't need that many looks. <laughs> Our Spanish colleagues are having to make themselves as certain of that. That was uh, a definite uh, correct decision from the assistant on this near side. Modric. Ronaldo, scorer of both Real Madrid's goals. If you've joined the game late, both from the penalty spot. After he was brought down by Manquillo for the first, Gareth Bale. Won a penalty out of the other fullback in Sewer. Here's Carvajal, the Real Madrid right back. Right break for Isco, close. Now Modric. Good looking cross. Ronaldo got a touch, but only for Miranda here. There's a late challenge there from Baran. 
on Diego. Oh, he's pretty late, isn't he? Moran, he's committed himself to the challenge, and that's what the free kick was given for. That's a touch fortunate, he didn't pick up a booking there. Diego. Manquillo. Playing against the Real Madrid C team last season, the Atletico Madrid right back, Javi Manquillo. I like him, Kevin, he's a good player, he just lacks experience. I think this is his fifth start at top flight football. He's quick. He's quick, he's got good skills, and he'll be a good player in the future, but at 19, you've, you've still got a long way to go. But um, one for the future. Koke. Could out easily by Modric. Here's Ronaldo. Okay, has it back. Raul Garcia. Merch from Alonso. Diego back for a second spell at Atletico Madrid, the Brazilian. From the German club Wolfsburg. This is Sosa. Good ball. Varane getting there ahead of Garcia. Certainly are coming together, but he got the ball first, uh, Rafael Varane. As Jerry was saying earlier in commentary, great to see the 20-year-old French international defender Varane back after horrible knee injury just in time for the World Cup getting that challenge in yeah Garcia. it's his anticipation he comes to cover his other center half the ball set up he's got there first as you said Kevin wins it cleanly and then there's a coming together after that it's part and parcel of the game that one I feel a little bit for Aaron Thabia though Kevin he's not really had too much to do other than the two penalty kicks. That's a pull back by E.R. Mendy. That will be a yellow card. I agree. Oh, certainly. Pretty obvious to Indiana Malenko. Okay, over the free kick. Sosa. And Sua. Casillas still protecting this ongoing record for Real Madrid goalkeeper of minutes on the pitch without conceding. It's over 800 minutes now. He's not the first choice in the league. We have to go way back to a Champions League game against Galatasaray for the last time he let one in. Well, they're fortunate they've got two world class goalkeepers. Now, Christian Rodriguez to test Casillas. No. the nail on the head when you said the test got Casillas and he doesn't he's leaning back and it doesn't hit the target you've got to hit the target from that angle cut it back or put it on target <laughs> oh, 
Well, we can safely say Real Madrid will be the winners of this semi-final. What about Wednesday? Barcelona take a 2-0 lead against Real Sociedad at the Amoretta and then back for La Liga action at the weekend. So many games for you to enjoy that. This wonderful title race. Of course, we'll have all the protagonists in action. I should point out to you, incidentally, that uh, Atletico Madrid game kicks off at 3 o'clock, but we will be showing that game in full later. Isco. Ronaldo. Free kick against Mario Suarez. Yeah, trying to play a little bit of skill, he's caught, and then he's scissored him just as he's flicking the ball back, and he holds his hand up, acknowledged, but it's nothing more than a free kick for me, Kevin. Certainly not a yellow card. Another one who's been out injured. Good to see him back into the Atletico Madrid squad. I think he played last week and against uh, Real Sociedad. Uh, but you don't want to rush him back when you've been out for several months. Iaramendi, Isco. Plenty waiting for the cross. Iaramendi has picked out Ramos. Up goes Varane. Here's Ronaldo. Oh, he wrings his hands in frustration. He bounced up nicely for the volley. That's exactly right, Kevin. The ball's jumped here, Varane. And he gets in front of Sosa and he can't get his knee over the top of the ball. He wants to. Show everybody how good his technique is, and he knows what he wants to do. He just didn't quite get his knee over the top, he's got underneath it. There's no need for reinforcements yet, is there? Unless someone's injured. Diego Costa and company not about to watch the final five minutes or so of the first half seen enough just wondered if that shot from Raul Garcia had gone in and not hit the post got it back to 1-1 one, one. You know, that just would have given Atleti, uh, the momentum required, but with so many first-team regulars out, it was always going to be the stiffest of tasks here. Damage done in the first leg, I'm afraid, and as you might recall, in case you missed the first leg, there were two very unfortunate own goals conceded by Atleti. Yeah, there was not a lot they can do about them, Kevin, to be honest, the first one. You know, it was hit, and it hit him on the inside of his leg, I think, in Sua. Not a lot he could do about that. Having said that, they played well though, Real Madrid. They, they, did. they really did play well and controlled the game. Here's his goal. Good challenge from Miranda. Excellent header from Sosa. Diego. He's going to look for Jose Sosa. More police by Ramos. Here comes Manquillo. And plenty of confidence again in running at Avalo. And the yellow card now for Alvaro Avalo. Oh, he does really well, and that's what it's for. It's pretty deliberate on Manquillo. He goes one way, then he comes in the other. Fairly blatant. 
struggling to get into the league team in 2014. Mike Carvajal's ahead of him, ahead of him in the packing order now. That's not his best position, though, for Arbolo, to be fair to him. Left back is definitely not his best position. Koke with the free kick. Easy clearance for Cassius. Surprise, really, they didn't get a left foot over that free kick. It was close enough to strike for goal. No Felipe, of course, out here tonight. He might have been over that set piece. Ronaldo is going to pick up a card here. Well, it looked nasty, but it's a little bit unfortunate. And Ronaldo's challenging for the ball. And it looked nasty for Manquillo. I think it's a, an accident. I think he's jumping just to win the ball. Let's have a look. When he's up high, you can say, oh, that's nasty. And certainly his neck there is he's come upside down. And it does look bad. But Ronaldo's up early, he's up higher, Kevin. Well, it's uh, painful to watch that fall from yeah. Abby Manquillo. And let's hope he's OK, because he really snapped his neck there. And... Ronaldo only had eyes for the ball. I don't yeah. think in the circumstances there could be any malice in that, but there's real concern here about Manquillo. See, he's up early, this is it, he's a foot above him, and he spins him upside down and there's a the problem his knack twists and that's the problem and he's backing in as well Ronaldo's attacking it and he's backing in it's just one of those unfortunate incidents I like you I hope he's okay well he looks as if he's going to get up and that's a big plus to see obviously it doesn't make Cristiano Ronaldo flavour of the month does it Kevin not with the uh, yeah, Atletico Madrid fans. Well, that picture looks a lot brighter now. Thankfully for Manquillo, we feared for him for a second or two there after that nasty fall. <sighs> At the moment, Atleti play on with ten. Gareth Bale. Alder Revelle. He's done well whenever I've watched him, Kevin. Alder Revelle's done really well for me. So the end of the first half of the Copa del Rey semi final second leg. Two early penalties from Cristiano Ronaldo put tonight to bed and the tie to bed. It's 5-0 overall for Real Madrid on aggregate. Yeah, the football. OK, I think we know what you mean by that. Good to see Cristiano Ronaldo coming out, and he seems to be OK as well. Guys, I would imagine you've never been in this position before as a player, 5-0 down the second half, but how do you lift yourself? And, and as a player, what goes through your mind for the next 45 minutes? Well, I think it's mostly about pride. You, you have to come there for, you, well, for yourself, for the club, for the fans. Uh, also because they're playing again in a couple of weeks. Uh, in terms of La Liga, so for Atletico Madrid, uh, it's very important in the way they're going to face that game, in the way they're going to face the next games, because the latest result for Atletico Madrid is not been very good. Not just the, 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 the scoreline, also the, the way they've been playing. The image that Atletico Madrid have been shown in the last this game is not the Atletico Madrid we used to see. So uh, they need to change that uh, as soon as possible. OK, well, it looks like there's a substitution being made from Carlo Ancelotti. Let's get back to Jerry Armstrong. And Kevin Keatons. Thanks, Scott. Welcome back. Three substitutions at the start of the second half. Nacho is on for Real Madrid, the defender. And also coming on for Atletico, striker Adrian and defender Juan Fran. This is Real Madrid's third Copa del Rey semi-final in the past four years. 
Uh, each of the last two, they've progressed to the final. And of course, they are going to do so again. It's just a matter of whether Atletico can restore some pride here ahead of the team's meeting in a hugely important league game here at the beginning of next month. Well, I'm just looking at it, uh, Sergio Ramos, who's, who's made way, Kevin, and Nacho's coming in for him at the back. I don't know if it's an injury or a, a problem, or maybe they're just taking it as a precautionary measure. They, they're fairly comfortable, I have to say. And uh, not surprised there was changes made, obviously, by Atletico Madrid. Manquillo was the one they were worried about. Juan France, straight, straight swap, right back for a right back. And I'm sure his neck is still sore and glad that he's actually OK. Good run from Guillermo. It was caught. Xavi Alonso with a free kick. Just to confirm, it was uh, Diego who was the other player to make way for Atleti. Defended by uh, Alder Avell. Yeah, Rafael Varad pressing on behind him and Alder Avell has done once again, I think, very well. Despite the fact that Alder Avell is a current Belgian international, that partnership of Miranda and Godin has worked so well for Simeone, not just this season, but last as well. It's been hard to dislodge that pair. With the introduction of Adrian, it does allow Simeone's team to play 4-4-2, which is a normal setup. I think he had to go for it to start, Kevin. They needed goals, and I think he was right to have a go. Just six needed, Jerry, to get to the final. <laughs> well, he, he will dream and hope and wish, but I think he'll settle for one now just to give him a lift and a little bit of a boost to his players to give him something to go for in the second half. One friend. Ball looked out. Good. Not given though. Go gay. Rodriguez. Taking the long route. Ronaldo. And he won't be phased by the cheers. Now they'd love him in a red and white shirt rather than the white one. Oh, he's gone past two or three players there and put the cross in and got the block and won the throw in. Not the most popular with the Atletico Madrid fans, as you say, Kevin, but. Carvajal. Slip there by Alonso. Modric. Pass there from Luka Modric. He's so prevented from getting the ball in where both Ronaldo and Bale were waiting. He's working hard, he's, cool. he's playing all different positions, Kevin. 
as I said, false number nine and dropping in the hole. And there seems to be a few problems in the crowd at the moment. But this is where we should be watching. Oh, great play. Adrian. Christian Rodriguez in the middle, so too Varane. And there's the athleticism of Varane coming into play, Kevin. Great little dummy from Adrian down the right-hand side. And a superb cross in from the right. Bail away this time. Older of Eld. Suarez. No claim from Raul Garcia. He knew that he was just uh, losing his balance there. It's Luka Modric. Very much in the hearts of Real Madrid fans everywhere at the moment. Luka Modric enjoying a, a wonderful season. They were singing his name at the Bernabeu at the weekend in that win against Villarreal. Well, he was well marked by Rafael Roland, and you can see he's, he's controlled the ball, he's lost his balance and fallen over. And that one a little bit more near the mark. Nacho too tight on that occasion as Carvajal wins. First touch from Isco, good control, Kevin. Carvajal, Alonso. Isco, another great touch. Miranda stood strong in front of him. Well, had a chance to pull the trigger. Wanted another touch, wanted to go round Miranda. Miranda was an immovable object. And this wonderful run that Real Madrid have put together in 2014 very heartening indeed for the coach Carlo Ancelotti whose record incidentally after his opening 36 games in all competitions is better than that of both uh, Mourinho and Pellegrini at this stage I've seen them get better and better every week Kevin this Real Madrid side and you know as I mentioned earlier the, the other players the squad players if you want to call Rafael Varane a squad player you know, he's come back into full fitness, he needs some games now. But Isco's there on the bench, hasn't done a, an awful lot wrong, he's available. You know, Bale's been out injured once or twice and he's come back in. All the key players are there and uh, they're getting better and better. The big plus for me is Hesse. He's come in this season and really set this place alight and uh, I think he's been a magnificent player so far. And Looks like he's going to have a big future for Real Madrid. Yaramendi, Isco, Bale. Taken on here by Koke. Kind of a howl. Uh, good foot in there. He was quick to pick his pocket. He made up a lot of ground to get back in and just toe poked the ball away. And there's a great enthusiasm and belief about this Real Madrid side as they continue to improve well, the Atleti fans are doing their best to maintain a, an atmosphere inside the Vicente Calderon for all their disappointment
very loyal fans who've had a lot of disappointments over the last uh, decade or so. And, uh, back certainly as the third force in Spanish football after a few seasons away from that position. And who knows? They might even usurp the big two and take their first La Liga title since 1996. But it's how they recover from uh, what is very much looking like it's going to be three defeats in a row for the first time in three years. Arda Turan looks as though he's going to be on shortly. No sign of them narrowing the gap in this second leg. Maybe Raul Garcia's got other ideas on that. Christian Rodriguez. Drop kindly for Bale. Strong challenge from Juan Fran, nothing unusual. I think the crowd and the fans just like to see Cristiano on his backside after those opening two two goals in the first half. If you really want to hear the roof getting left off, Kevin, Atletico Madrid, if they score a goal, you'll think they've won the cup again. close to yellow card Raul Garcia he's been niggling and he's gone away with quite a few East go Ronaldo not close to finding Bale as soon as Isco came deep Gareth Bale took up the phenomenal number nine role So penalised for the challenge on Garcia. Oh, doesn't do an awful lot wrong for me, Nacho. He just jumps early. I think Raul Garcia is doing a poor me. Looking a bit of sympathy from the referee. Yes, he's doing a few stretches. Iara Mendy, Carvajal, Ronaldo, Avaloa, got nothing of the normal fire and intensity that this fixture normally affords us. Real Madrid playing well within themselves. Uh, but Letigo Madrid just, I wouldn't say satisfied to just uh, escape with a 2-0 defeat. That's not what you would uh, level at a Simeone side, but they're not really troubling Casillas at all so far in this second half. Both goals in the first, early penalties for Cristiano Ronaldo. Look, this is continuing here, Xavi Alonso's Raul Garcia. He's trying to get him booked, isn't he? He's trying to get him booked. There's a lot of bad blood there. Okay, and we're saying at half time, there's a bit of history there. Let's see that. Here's Juan Fran. Trying to find a way past Arbeloa and drop for Adrian. Now the club captain coming on for Raul Garcia. Perhaps Simeone has noticed that the fuse is getting shorter and shorter for Raul Garcia. I think so. I think he's very fortunate not to have been booked already. I just mentioned it earlier. 
No, it's not worth the risk. I know the tie's over. There's half an hour to go. Definitely not worth the risk. There's big league games to come up where they're going to need his talents and his goal-scoring prowess. Well, it's a very unlikely front two now of Christian Rodriguez and Adrian Gonzalez. Two players that have figured very little, certainly in terms of starts, for Simeone this season. Yeah, I think it's more or less said, look, OK, we're out of the, the cup hunt competition we are the holders but uh, we're admitting that we're over it's done and now we're looking forward to the next game which is a league game and we need the three points and start looking forward Isco or oh, Ronaldo chance to run it Older Revelle Belgium defends well again. Corner. He has done well, Kevin. Whenever I've seen him play, and again, he's not bought any of the dummies and stuff. He's done really well. And still plenty of players in white shirts. Hungry for a goal. Modric with the corner. Let's go. What an excellent cross in. Let he deal with it. And away by Koke. Hardly got cross in there, Kevin, in that tight area. Super cross it was as well. Looks very much like Atletico Madrid's 20 game unbeaten home run is coming to an end. It's in all competitions. Isco. Lovely, fluent play here led by uh, Isco and he's got a free kick out of Suarez oh, he's so good Kevin at turning and he, that little outside of the hoop right foot round the wall pass and got the return from Bale and continues his run and there's a challenge comes in there from Suarez and I think he goes over easy and he'll take the free kick to them they've enjoyed the season as a whole but is it about to unravel here's Bale it's unraveling certainly but to what extent the next few weeks will tell us it'll be very interesting I think March is a big month for them Kevin as we see Bale hit this one little dipping swerving shot around the beer does well but uh, yeah March is a big month with the Champions League and Obviously, Real Madrid to play as well. I think you're right, Jerry. I think staying contention for the title as uh, April beckons. It could yet be great joy here. All things being equal, Kevin, as long as they don't lose two or three of the key players, you know, I think they're still they're still going to be there, thereabouts. And it's just great to see three teams at the top on 57 points. And hopefully it stays as tight as that right up until May. And then we'll see who's going to be crown champions. And let's not forget, Jerry, their excellent Champions League campaign this season. Yeah, they've been fantastic. Well, they won their group by a uh, mile. Yeah, and a group that had Porto. And Porto hadn't lost at home for something like 20-odd years. And they beat them home and away. Arna Turan got the winner in that game. Turan Sedos, AC Milan, will start second favourites in that tie against Atletico Madrid. I agree. 
I think Casemiro warming up. Kevin looks like he's going to come on. Incidentally, you can see the first leg of that Champions League last 16 first leg in the San Siro between AC Milan and Atletico Madrid on Sky Sports next week. And the following week you can see Schalke against Real Madrid. On Sky Sports as well, Pepe smiling. Didn't need his services tonight. And here's Casemiro for Modric. Luka Modric was a semi-finalist in the FA Cup with Tottenham. Did win a couple of domestic cups in his time in Croatia with Dinamo Zagreb. And will certainly be looking forward to a place in the starting 11 in the final. One friend. Well, it's high fives from Luca and the rest of the players. They already booked their date in the final, which is on the 19th of April, Kevin. Venue to be announced. Well, the last time the big two, if it is going to be a Real Madrid Barcelona final. It was played at the Mestalla in Valencia back in 2011. Yeah, that's one of the favourites. You couldn't really play it here at the Vicente Calderon. It wouldn't favour Barcelona at all. The only other option would be Sevilla or somewhere like that, which is a hotbed, but it's a long way to travel for the fans. Valencia looks the most likely to me. Great final it was as well in 2011, decided by a wonderful Cristiano Ronaldo header in extra time but don't rule out Real Sociedad Barcelona haven't got a great record recently at the Anoeta to say the least and only 2 nil up from the first leg at home I don't think they've won there in 5 or 6 years is it? 7 years something like that it's a, it's a long time I know that and um, I remember when Xavi Alonso was playing for Real Sociedad that was the year I thought they should have won the league and they beat Barcelona that season at home at the Anoeta, and then they lost. I think because of David Beckham, David Beckham came on and changed the game that they were in control of. And that win for Real Madrid helped them to go on and win the league title that year. That was David Beckham's last year at Real Madrid. Ronaldo turning into Gabi. Didn't really want the pass there, but he made light of it. And it's good football to get your way out of that position as Juan Fran coming forward. Christian Rodriguez. Juan Fran. Gabby. Adrian. This girl gets the free kick. This is uh, the acid test now, Jerry, for Simeone in terms of his coaching skills is man management yeah I, I, the thing is they haven't conceded another goal in the second half they've
battled the way through a really difficult period. Certainly the first 15, 20 minutes must have been so destroyed for the players and the fans who were looking for a turnaround, a little bit, bit of a comeback. Maybe if they'd have scored the first goal, they could have had something going for them. But the game was over very quickly and they haven't capitulated, they haven't laid down. They're still working hard and playing to the same ethos and beliefs that Simeone has, and that is you'll keep working and you'll get your rewards. Well, I don't think they're going to get the rewards in this match, but they uh, will then move on to the next league game and think, well, we're top of the table. Let's see, can we go and win the league? As I touched on earlier in commentary, he's not one for making excuses. Simeone, but those injuries have bitten hard. Goalkeeper Courtois, left back Felipe, yep. David Villa. No, they have, they've all been difficult to get over. And as I mentioned earlier, Mario Suarez was out for a long time. He's come back and he's not really 100% match fit, Kevin. He played against uh, Real Sociedad last week. I don't think they wanted to risk him in the first leg of the Real Madrid game. But prior to the last six weeks, when they seem to have picked up a key injury in each of the last six weeks, they've been very lucky with injuries. We're, we're making the point week in, week out of this settled team that he was getting a real tune out of. But uh, once there was a real test of the squad, they've not been up to it. Yeah, I think they've been fine out, but... That's the only way you're going to find out, isn't it, when you get the opportunity. And Manquillo, the young fullback, lacks a lot of experience, but he's a quality player. I think he's going to be a real star in a couple of years' time. Ronaldo. Isco. Casemiro. Joining up here is Danny Carvajal. Oh, nicely done by Ronaldo, denied by Renthabia. Below, it took an age, so we're getting a shot away there. Kevin, he got two touches in the penalty area. You don't need two touches, you just hit the target. And good save from Renthabia, initially from Ronaldo. Adrian in the penalty area for Atletico Madrid. Okay, joining up, or at least trying to. Well, the break's on. Ronaldo. Oh, made a good run, but Ronaldo delayed the pass, and here's Miranda. Might as well carry his run forward here. Here he is, the Brazilian defender. Koke. Christian Rodriguez. He has a good left foot, you, you need to close him down. Carvajal got his body in the way in the end, Kevin, but I've been looking people to close him down quicker than that. There's the chest control, Ronaldo, big save now. What do you want to take two touches for? Hit that target. And that's what Christian Rodriguez was doing, hitting the target. He's got a corner kick. And the header flashes wide. Mario Suarez caught that sweetly. He's come in and attacked it. He's got a free run as well, Kevin. Free run, free header. Should have hit the target for me. And he hasn't played much in the last few months. That's the, the difference as Cristiano well, makes way. There won't be a 24 hat trick. But uh, his early penalties certainly ensured what we all thought was very likely anyway. Top of the way final for Real Madrid. Hesse to come on. If you've not seen him in recent weeks, a little cameo for the last quarter of an hour. He is all the rage at the moment, taking up a lot of column inches in Spain, the 20-year-old.
Well, that was the header from Suarez. Free header, Kevin. Should have hit the target. Well, we've been talking about it, Jerry, and I know a lot of the Spanish press have been talking about the self same subject. Hesse for the Spain World Cup squad. Well, I think he must be in with a chance. I do. The way he's playing, he's getting better every game. I would wait and see. I, would, I wouldn't discount him, certainly. I think he's got to have a great chance. And when you look at the lack of natural attacking players forwards that Spain's got, I think he's going to struggle, obviously, with Soldado not being a regular at Tottenham and Torres not being a regular at Chelsea. So it's going to be Diego Costa, maybe, and Llorente. Those are the two you'd look at. Even though they're 2 0 down and out of the competition, he still wants to win things. He wants to see a goal and he looks at the positives. That's the, the great attitude from Simeone. Atletico Madrid will not be the first club to successfully defend the Copa del Rey since Barcelona in the late 90s. But will Barcelona get their job done in the second semi-final? Live for you, Wednesday night from the Anoeta in the Basque Country against Real Sociedad. Barca two up from the first leg. And then back to league action. Atletico Madrid, Vardalid will show you that game from 5.15 on Sky Sports 1. Barcelona should get the job done against Rayo. Just for a change, it's Real Madrid playing the last of the three as they go to Hetafe. 3.55 Sky Sports 2 for that Madrid derby. Yep. I see they're still looking for a clean sheet. Kevin obviously as well. That's another talking point. Who plays a goal for Spain? <laughs> well, Vicente Del Bosque's got his work cut out. How could you leave the man who lifted high the World Cup trophy itself in South Africa in 2010? But not playing a lot of games, is he? No, nope. not playing any league games. When you look at the form of some of the other goalkeepers, Diego Lopez and Victor Valdez is so consistent at Barcelona as well. You know, it's. It's a difficult one, and that's why he has to make the decisions and obviously defending champions as well. 850 minutes now since Casillas has conceded a goal. Well, I think he would praise his defence because they've kept the uh, shots to a minimum. Adrian. Broken up here by Casemiro. Say change of pace, which was a problem for Juan Fran until Miranda came across to help him out. Well, another card for the Brazilian. The referee was very quick to do it. Let's say there's an elbow comes out not once, twice, three times. He really does throw it back once. There it is. There, that's the one. So, you know, he's lucky. It's only a yellow. I'm not sure it uh, troubled Hesse as much as he showed there, but certainly a lazy arm from Miranda, which gave the referee 
no option the, the, to produce that card. Ten minutes to go. Copa del Rey semi-final second leg. Real Madrid coasting to the final. 2-0 up on the night. 5-0 on aggregate. Well, I don't want to concede another goal now. Isco. Carvajal. Casemiro looking for the run here of Hesse. The other thing about Hesse is can he can play in wide positions, you know, and he has got that pace, which is a great asset. Rodriguez. Poor touch from Koke. Casemiro. Avalor. Iaramendi. Well, it's good pressing from Atletico Madrid to win the ball back. As Real Madrid trying to keep possession. This can only further boost Real Madrid's confidence. Jerry ahead of the next games. He talked about that trip uh, to Hetafe this coming weekend, but also for when they come here at the beginning of next month it's only less than yeah. three weeks away it's a big month march is a massive month for all three clubs barcelona champions league real madrid champions league and atletico madrid champions league as well as trying to win the league title now is there a goal here for atletico madrid or would have been but for the athleticism of casillas to deny jose sosa lovely passage of play here on the half volley Great technique from Jose Sosa and hits it so well, maybe too well, Kevin. Half volley, look at that, just pure reflexes from Iker Casillas. An excellent goalkeeper. Suarez threat in the air again there. still having a go here well, I know the way Simeone thinks and he'll be telling them look we've lost the first half 2-0 but let's win the second half 1-0 and even if they lose 2-1 he'll look upon it as a victory we finished it stronger than they did you know he'll look for all the positives Kevin believe you me and equally Ancelotti will be wanting another clean sheet in sewer Poor. Well, this is another angle to look at it from, but it's just pure reflexes from Iker Casillas to deny Jose Sosa. Technique was brilliant on oh, the half volley, wasn't it? But he got a knee over the top of the ball well, Kevin. He hit on the half volley and so much venom in the shot. Some uh, Real Madrid fan, I presume it's a Real Madrid fan, with a little souvenir there, just behind the dugout. Questionable if that was an Atletico supporter. Oh, what a ball. 
Bale overhitting the cross, looking for Hesse. It's a shame, lovely little passage of play from Isco. A pirouette and then a fabulous pass in behind the full back. And shame the cross wasn't better. And we certainly didn't expect to be this yawning a gap in this Copa del Rey semi-final over two legs but two penalties tonight, two own goals in last week's first leg I've really put paid to any challenge that Atleti hoped for I never really gave Atleti any chance to get into Kevin with the early penalty I put them on the back foot and then followed by a second penalty I think that really finished them off but to their credit they have performed well second half they've worked hard They've not got their head down, they've kept going. And Varane, strong challenge there from Suarez. Real Madrid closing in on 24 games unbeaten in all competitions, 20 wins during that run. It's ironic that Atletico Madrid were 23 unbeaten before last week's first leg. And including that game, it's now very much looking like three defeats in a row for Simeone's team Rodriguez with a shot, drags it and a lot of them have stayed probably to give their players as much support upon the final whistle as they can knowing the importance of the weeks and months ahead isn't it great though when you look at the league table Kevin and you think you know they're all on 57 points each but they've won 18 games each they've drawn three games each and they've lost two games each and there's virtually nothing in it in terms of goals for with Barcelona on 63 goals Real Madrid on 65 and Atletico Madrid on 56 but Atletico's got the best defensive unit only conceded 16 so there's so so tight at the top it's it's fantastic for la liga barcelona on top by virtue of a better goal difference of five over real madrid who are one better on goal difference above atletico but it doesn't go on goal difference at the end of the season head to head that's why when these two meet Again in March, if Atletico Madrid avoid defeat, they'll have a better head-to-head -head record than Real Madrid because they won at the Bernabeu. Yeah, but don't forget the last game of the season, Kevin. Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. Yeah. Now that's some game. And it was a draw between the two earlier in the season. Atletico Madrid have drawn three times at Barca in all competitions. But have not been able to follow up their league win over Real Madrid they've been comprehensive winners on their way to extending their record of Copa del Rey finals to 39 worth noting though they've only won less than 50% of those which is a bit of a surprise This is going to be their 39th final Kevin have played in and they've only won 18. They've lost the other 20 which is disappointing but tomorrow night we'll find out who it's going to be, if it's going to be Barcelona or Real Sociedad. Here's Rodriguez. Puts it on that uh, left foot but almost went out for a throw to his embarrassment but Real Madrid have got some fans inside the stadium. Just about to find out how much longer the agony will continue for Atletico Madrid. They'll have Diego Costa back at the weekend, just one extra minute for the home game against the Vidalid here. Courtois has been struggling with a back injury. They're desperate to get a young uh, Chelsea 
Rooney has been so consistent between the sticks for them. And David Villa, well, he's got a hamstring problem at the moment, and I think he's going to miss the weekend's touch and go whether he'll be fit for the Champions League first leg against AC Milan in Italy. Yeah, the other one's Felipe Luiz. Yeah. Oh, great defending there from Carvajal. There's a late challenge come in, and it was Rodriguez. Christian Rodriguez, who was very late on Xavi Alonso. <laughs> Wonderful first touch from Gareth Bale. So, Andiano Mienko draws the Copa del Rey semi-final second leg to a close. Very comfortable indeed for Carlo Ancelotti's team. Two early penalties from Ronaldo on the night. And Real Madrid through to April's Copa del Rey final. They've beaten their city neighbours overall 5-0 on aggregate.